Welcome to Ship Management Part 2, which will be about chats, chatting and memorizing. We'll start off with some information on maps. The first map is an in-touch map. It will let you chat from one archipelago to another. It can be one from bridges while pillaging, and the style will be the color of the originating archipelago. The secondary color will be that of the destination archipelago. It has a degray rate of 90 calendar days, then it'll dust. The second map is an uninhabited island map. These islands are the only ones you can forage on, but you can't restock your ship here so it's a bad place to end your pillage. If there's no colonized island next to the island, it can only be won from bridges while pillaging and have a degray rate of 45 calendar days if it's not an entire map. The third map is an entire map, which allows you to chat within an archipelago. The star will be the color of the archipelago and you can buy these maps at a shipyard but only to the islands connecting to the one you're currently on and have a degrade of 45 days. The fourth map is a cursed isle map. This will allow you to chat to a cursed isle where you can forage and plunder after fighting your way to the island and it has a degrade rate of 8 days. The fifth map is an Atlantis outpost map. This will allow you to chat to an Atlantis outpost where you can shoot a lot of sea monsters and then treasure haul the leftovers to get rich. It has a degrade rate of 8 days. On a side note, CI maps are mostly for smaller ships and Atlantis maps for larger ones. Moving on to chatting. Click on the helm and select chat a course. To chat a course you need to have the maps in your booty or on the chatting table. Any maps one will automatically go on the chatting table as seen here to the left. If you want to go somewhere and don't have the maps you can ask a crew member or a hardy if they can chat from here to there. If they can, invite them aboard. If it's a friend outside of the crew, they need to be given the navigate order to be able to chat. Alright, now that we got that out of the way, we can go on to the actual charting. All there really is to it is to click on the island you wish to go to, like this. However, if you want a specific route, you need to click on the islands like this. And then when you got the desired route, you, you click chart course. Now I'm going to tell you about rechatting. This can be done at any leak point, which is the small dots between the islands. The reasons for rechatting can be multiple. You might have gotten an expedition from winning over bridges that you want to go to, or that you want to get to the closest island in a hurry. This is how you do it. Let's say we've gotten to here. But then we got an expedition map up here. So what we do is we click clear for post there and then you simply click on the island on that route. You can't chart to a leak point so you have to click to the nearest island. Then you click chart course and you're well on your way. I've discovered that it's best to rechart at leak points instead of islands because I have the theory that it can make your standing go up and down as if you left your station. I strongly recommend that you don't just sail from one island to another and then port, divide and go out again because this will affect the booty ramp, which I will tell you more about in the next tutorial. And now we're moving on to memorizing. Each leak point in the ocean can be individually memmed. Once memmed, that leak point will always appear brown on your known world, like this island for example. You will no longer need the maps to chart those points. To mem you will need to either go with the navy on the navigate for the navy mission where you will get 4 bots and won't be attacked by bridges. You won't have control over where the bots go, so choose the mission based on which route you want to mem. You can also use your own ship or borrow one, just remember that you have to play the navigation part. It's a good idea to have rum aboard so you won't suffer from rum sickness which will make the performance on stations worse. You need to go over the lead point from 2 to 8 times to have them memmed. Some people prefer to chart to here, when in fact they only want to memorize this route. When they've gotten to this island, they will sail on for two more leak points. Then they will reach out back to here, like that, all the way back here, because then they have two leak points to get the speed of the indicator up again on the navigation puzzle, which will help memorize this route faster. You can mem any island without using the nav puzzle. Simply just whisk there two to eight times, then we have it memmed. And that was it for part two. Thanks for watching.